we have more shelves hello youtube and welcome back to the channel so for today's video we are going to be talking about my tattoos i just realized i didn't ever talk about this one so i'll talk about it real quick and then my newest one i have a playlist i will put that in the cards here of talking about my different tattoos and what they mean to me <clears throat> i'm the type of person me personally that if i'm going to get a tattoo i want it to have meaning to me even though like i see tattoos i'm like oh those are really cool and they don't really have meaning to that person they just think it looks cool i think just for me personally for getting them and you know you pay to get good ones i want them to have a meaning to them so that's why i like to do these little videos to talk about their meaning i um thought about getting a tattoo on my back as well at one point i was thinking about getting back to the future back because it's on my back and future because i'm the kind of guy who likes to look ahead into the future i just think a tattoo should mean something you know further ado let's go ahead and get started so i'm going to talk about this one on my arm and i will have better pictures up on the screen so you can actually see them better and in more detail but i this was the last tattoo i got until my new one but i got this back in 2019 and it had well at the time my two cats zazzy who sadly is no longer with us and penny and there's not really any meaning other than they were my cats and I wanted them on my arm. But Zazzy especially, cause he was my first ever cat that I owned. And then I really wanted Penny too, because even though she wasn't my first cat, she's my first pet, like I'm her person. That's the first time, you know, all my animals have loved me, but none of them have really attached and been like my animal like Penny has. So. That's why I wanted them on my arm. I kind of regretted it there for a little bit after we had to put Zazzy down because I would be sad. And then I would just look down and see my arm and start crying again. But, you know, I've healed a little bit. I still love having him on there. It's just a memento, but it's just representing my first cat and my first baby of mine. So that's all about that one. So now let's move into the main reason for today, this bad boy. This one is instantly becoming one of my favorites as far as ones that have color on it. Obviously this one means a whole lot to me because it was my first one and it's a tattoo symbolizing my mom. Again, I'll leave my playlist in the card so you can find out about that. But, and of course my cats are special to me, but out of like my colored pieces i would probably say that this one is becoming my favorite so it has a b on it this is an office themed tattoo by the way in case you haven't seen the office but it's got a b because dwight and or dwight shrew and michael scott are my two favorite characters so i knew that when i got an office tattoo i wanted to have something of them represented so again if you don't watch the show uh dwight shrew is a beat farmer <laughs> super random but i mean that adds to the show so i got a beat and then this is michael's mug that he has he bought it for himself at spencer gifts so and then i just put my favorite flowers in there so it has daisies sunflower and um a cornflower on it so what this tattoo means in 2017 and it, this is another video i'll have in the cards i did a video i don't think i filmed it in 2017 but it was about that time i had like a huge mental breakdown because i had just graduated college and for me school has been everything like i have always loved school growing up when breaks came, I was ready for them, but then, like, almost immediately, I was like, I'm ready to go back to school, I'm ready to learn. So, 
2017, I graduated college and I was like, I don't have school to go back to. And also didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I just got into a bad funk. I was in a job that I didn't like and I just became super depressed, super anxious, super stressed, just, it, it was a very terrible time for me. And so in the evenings, <clears throat> when me and the family would hang out, we wanted something to make us laugh, especially me, because like I said, I was in a really bad mental state. And so I said, why don't we watch The Office? Because I've always heard that it was hilarious so I said, let's just watch it. We watched it. I instantly fell in love. It made me laugh again. I, for just the few minutes that we would watch it, I would just feel my anxiety and my stress leaving. And I was just able to watch the show and just laugh and not worry about anything for a little bit. So fast forward to recently, I had not really, well, not really a full on mental breakdown like I did then, but I went through another bout of anxiety and really bad depression. And it just so happened that Comedy Central and Freeform would like back to back and watch or start showing The Office again. So we started watching it again. And again, it just made me lose my anxiety for just that small little bit. It's just, ever since we started watching it in 2017, it seemed like The Office always came in in a time when I needed it. <laughs> like I would be able to watch it at a time when I really needed to watch it at that time. So back in 2017, I, when I really started getting tattoos, I had wanted an office tattoo, but I never really, found anything that I really wanted. Like I would see things, I'm like, oh, that's really cute, that's cute. And I don't really wanna steal tattoo ideas. So, you know, I mean, everybody has Michael's mug. People that like Dwight have a beat. And there was a girl, I, I assume it was a girl, I don't know, I just saw her arm, that had the mug and the beat and then a whole bunch of different flowers recently. And I fell in love with it. So I sent that to my artist, but I wanted to change up the flowers, have my favorite flowers, and she drew it completely different. So anyway, but in 2017, I didn't really find a pattern or a design that I liked. So I got other ones, which I still love my other tattoos. Don't get me wrong. But I needed to get them when I did. But here recently, since we really started watching The Office again, and I knew since everything is dying down, I say that after I'm recovering, I knew that I wanted to go get another tattoo. And so just on a whim, when I found this one, I sent it to my artist and said, would you be up for doing something like this? And she responded, she said, heck yeah, girl, I love The Office, let's do it. I was like, yes, this is a sign. And then if you need any more of a sign that it was like the perfect time for me to get this tattoo. I'm sitting in the middle of my session. I can't even remember what part of my arm she was doing. And Love Fool starts playing on the radio. But if you don't know it, Jim starts singing it, who is another one of the characters. And I was just like, if this isn't like, y y be glad that you got your tattoo now. I don't know what is. And I texted my mom, I was like, you'll never guess what's playing on the radio. And I told her, she started laughing. But yeah, so that's why I got this tattoo. I love it. I love the placement of it and everything. And it still has room for where if I wanna put something like right up here, it's not gonna be too crowded, but it's still gonna look pretty. But I just love this. The color on it is so pretty. And that's even my cousin who kind of got me started in the tattoos when I showed him. He was like, I need to go to your artist because that is some great color work on there. But everybody that kept coming into the shop to talk to her too, like her friends, she would say, hey, look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. And they would see it and they're like, oh, that's so cool. So I was kind of like, yay, I'm glad that she likes my idea. 
but I love this tattoo so much, especially like what it means. It's kind of my reminder of how far I've come and how far I have still to come. I really, the only other office tattoo that I would want is a quote, the one that Andy says about, I wish that you knew when you were in the good times when they were happening. It's my favorite quote, you think I would know it, but I can't really remember it off the top of my head, but I would want to get that somewhere. I don't know where though. It would be cute if I could get it near here, but I don't know what placement would look cute. Maybe like here, I don't know. That might be a little too cluttered, but yeah, that's my office tattoo and I am completely in love with it. I love it. I love the placement. I think it fits really good. I'll stand up so you can see it more. I think it like frames my arm super well. And yeah, I love it. And like I said, it's just my reminder. I can look at, at it and say, you've come, you've come this far, you got through it, you can keep going. And it just brings a smile to my face when I look at it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Also, please don't think that I'm knocking anyone that just goes get tattoos just because they like them. I am not at all. I'm just saying for me personally, my grandparents hate that I get <laughs> tattoos, but that's kind of my way that I play it off to them. I'm like, they have meaning. I'm not doing it just for the heck of it. So that's kind of like what I go in to tattoos doing, but I'm not knocking anybody that does it. Cause if I had like a million dollar salary and could put a bunch of money in tattoos, I probably would. Like, just go get them for the heck of it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification to find out when I post. Also, I have an Instagram. You should go follow me. Even It should be up by the time I post this video, but if not, coming soon, I have a real putting together the rest of my shelves. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. All that's left is a window to my soul. Come and get it.